Hey guys, it's me again and I'm back. Sorry if I didn't make videos for a long time. So I just want to say that I didn't make videos for a long time because I was sick really bad. So I had to drink a lot of bush tea and take a lot of rest. But here's me right now. I'm feeling better now. But since I am this new channel, I gotta explain how my life went again. But as a remake. So I'm gonna explain what happened after the Calypso and some others. And yeah, that should be it. If you're wondering why said it's a remake, well, because I was planning to make part three in my old channel, but let's just say I put my camera videos right here. So this is part one as a remake. So now I'm gonna explain how my So, what we did before the Calypso starts, we went to a Calypso show since Friday, March 24. And it turns out, Miss Lavon is the backup singer. And I was surprised that she was the backup singer. The way she sings is so amazing. Also, if you don't know who's Miss Lavon, Miss Lavon is actually the coordinator of the Sundial School. I wish I could show you the rest of the clips, but sadly, yeah, let's just say storage problem. But after the steel pan practice, then me and my friend just saw this in the board. We just saw a poster that said the same thing in the flyer. Yeah, that flyer in Bush Road. Just take a look. Also, sorry if you couldn't hear anything because of this copyrighted music what Quran mother is playing in the background in the radio yes so now I have to avoid copyright reasons now so I'm sorry but at least you could look at the video and listen to these musics And after what happened that other day, then me and Quran went to sing and practice with the mighty doll himself. And it turns out Quran is good at singing. But listen. And then the next person who also singing is Sujay. If you didn't watch my sh shorts, you'll probably know who Sujay is. But he also a good singer too. And after practice, this is the last day before Calypso time. And we went to the radio interview one last time. Well, not really one last time, but one last time before Calypso. But it's a different radio interview. Joe Joe, right? Yeah. Mighty it's Joe Joe, right? 
So after when Mr. Doll finishes speech, then the radio speaker speak to a boy named Jojo. And he's a Calypso singer. Um, I just got a fresh new shape up. Looking fresh and right. Talking about a new shape up, am I right? Sorry, that was not funny. I'm a very happy person. Like to make jokes. Mm -hmm. like tell us about your song. Why um, you come up to song? <laughs> go ahead, tell us about this. My name is The Leaders. Uh huh. So, uh, the meaning of my song is, uh, it's about the politicians and the governors, how they lead St. Martin, because if they don't lead St. Martin in the right path, then it's all going to come crumbling down and become chaos. So, I'm telling people that we need good leaders, mm -hmm. so St. Martin will be led in the right path. Then the next person who also going to be singing is a boy named... Rotney, or I like to call him Jumbo Rotney, but his Calypso and Real Match name is also Jumbo Rotney because I come up with that name. But it's okay. Hopefully he will get through it. For my Calypso, I will be singing Firefighter, and for my Real Match, I will be singing Rodney the Bassman. Rodney the Bassman. You yes. Play, you play instruments, Rodney? Yes. You play the bass? Yes. Watch is this. Rodney's coming out to introduce himself to her. That's a song like a serious, serious calypso. You want to sing one or two lines for me? From for which song? The, the basement of the calypso or the road match? Road match. You can sing a little bit from the road. Which one you want to sing from? Whichever one you're comfortable with. I, I can sing the road match one. That's Rodney the basement? Yes. That's the one I want to do. Okay, I'll get you yes. to sing it. Yes. Look for her, Rodney. Whoa, 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 slow down, boy. Don't sing your song until it's Calypso time. So, moving on, next clip. Okay, the next Calypsonium we have is a boy named Mighty Lance. And it turns out, I like his song because it's about trouble. But I'm not going to sing his song until it's Calypso time. I mean, even though Calypso time passes, but I'll show you the clip of when it's Calypso time. Just now, soon. No, not the next one. Moving on. And then the next person we have is Jaquela, also known as Bony Girl. <laughs> Sorry for saying her name. But it's just our her name, her artist name is just sounds so funny. But her song is called well, Oh, my bad, I switched it around. Her artist name is actually Skinny Girl and the song is called Bony Girl. But you know, you will see why I mean by the time when I show you the Calypso clip. Then the next Calypsonian we got or Romacher is a boy named lover boy but i don't really like lover boy you know why i say that because he literally said this to me in the radio station in front of the speaker what well, just take a look and, and you see now, and you see the site, look here, look at that, look at the other boy, the and the two punches, why are you using? Well, I love everything, I love my grandmother, my brother, my mother, my sister, I love everybody in the world. So you just love a boy, full, full, full of love. What's your name? What's your real name? Nehemiah Watson. 
Maybe Maya Webster. I've heard that name before, you know. Where did I hear that name before? Maybe Maya Webster. Okay. Tell them you But, Tell them yeah, at least okay. now you know what's Tell the situation you, between me and Loverboy. Me and Loverboy are barely friends. Y yeah, barely friends. Next clip. And then the next person we have is Sujay. You know Sujay? I just showed a clip that Sujay was singing. And I come from a family of singers and dancers, professional dancers. Um, and my uncle is Indian. And then the last person who we have on the list is Quran, also known as Smalley. That the fact that he actually came late, but it's okay. song has a lot of meaning like especially like i listen to that one i really like that one because it's talking about the war so after the radio interview i was making a short that telling you guys to come to the calypso and yeah that's what i did but suddenly at the end i had to cut off that clip because this person say this in Quran. Quran. You want just listen? There is a man that everybody can see. The way he acts crippled. The ones creepy as I say. The way he runs is like Luigi in Minecraft. Well, don't worry. I won't complain to Quran. But I will complain to Malik. So you see, Malik. So in this clip, after when we just get out the car, then we went practice in the village. So right now, Malik is practicing his song called Trouble. And I explain why he is trouble. I think you already know why. But either way, his song sound good. I like it. And when it's night time, I also make another short in my channel to tell you guys that to come to the Calypso. But at the end of the clip, that guy almost let me cancel for saying the N word. Well, luckily that didn't happen. Anyways, next clip. And by the time when it's Calypso time, I know what I have to do. But before I show you this next awesome clip, I need to show you who are these people first before showing you the clip? And before when it is midnight, me and my father
went to the shop to get something for Calypso time. And by the time when it's Calypso time, I was so happy. But I'm not gonna talk for this clip. For the Calypso performance, I'm not gonna talk for the rest of the clip. Why? It's because that I thought you like going to see the Calypso sing. So without further ado, let's go into the clip so to see who actually won the Calypso and Roe match.
I did it, but let's check the final results. But the first off, let's check which primary school ones. I mean, I don't actually have the primary school video, but I'm just gonna say it as a drum roll. And now for the Calypso and Rome match, the moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua Patrick Monty Champion, our second runner up. Congratulations. is a two time two time winner he scored second runner up in the road match and also second runner up in the calypso so give him a round of applause You got your prize? You got it already? Alright! Ladies and gentlemen! Our first runner-up only scored one point more than he did. It was that close. Ladies and gentlemen! Our first one up. Answer to the name of Quran Williams. He jumped on his shoes. He jumped on his shoes. Our first runner up, ladies and gentlemen. How close can it be? Who is our Calypso King or Queen here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to leave you in suspense anymore. I will let you know. That the winner is a queen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, scoring 243 points. Give it up for Lady E.
Calypso, but let's see who win real match now. So you may be wondering how Mighty Kalik win in first place? Well, good question. I will show you his song at the end of the credits. Or how his performance go at the end of the credits. I mean, even when I didn't win Raw Match or Calypso, I still won a medal for participating in the Lena Connor School Steel Pan and for the Calypso. Before you ask, yes, I was playing with the Leonard Carter School Steel Pan. So I think you should look at this clip and see why I'm talking about.
so at least now you know how my life went but before I end this video there's four things I need to talk about one the first one I need to talk about is the song called feeling the feeling so I released a song called feeling the feeling in this channel so if you want to see it it's in the link in the description down below so you can watch it now the second thing I want to talk about there's a clip that I forgot to show you guys <laughs> and it's really funny it was a uh, guy who's telling the calypso to come on stage <laughs> I don't know why he's dancing like that but that's another way to stretch time why because let's just say Bony girl wasn't at the stage yet so he had to just dance <laughs> talk about is from now on I'll put credits at the end because yeah that just make the video so special now the fourth thing I need to talk about is if the Calypsonian watching this if you may be wondering where's Andre or where's Loverboy well good question for Andre I'll show her performance at the end of the credits but for lover boy, I'm not gonna do that. Why? There's two reasons. One, radio interview. And two, I just don't have his clip. So that's why. And that's it. Even though if I didn't win Kadipsa and Romach, just know this. This is not the end of King Davil! Okay, that was a little too exciting. But it's okay, because it's not the end of King Davo. I'll still try again next year. Hopefully next year. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye now.